Welcome back, to Maniacs. Today we've got a little bit different video. Um, instead of just going down a streamer bot rabbit hole, we're actually going to talk about OBS. Um, they just dropped 30.2 Beta 1. It's got a plethora of new features, some changes, some bug fixes, especially to the UI. Um, but the big thing that I'm excited for is the addition to the Hybrid MP4. Flop over here. Keep in mind, Hybrid MP4 support is still in Beta, as is this entire OBS release that we're talking about, but that's okay. Um, what does hybrid mp4 mean basically the way mp4s work is when they're fragmented if you have a power loss or um, there's some sort of interruption while it's writing it the entire file is lost um, with traditional fragmented mp4s however with hybrid in the event that you have a power loss or some sort of corruption the amount of mp4 that's already been written is still usable and still recoverable not only is that really cool it also supports inserting chapters into markers via hotkey or API. These markers are supported by most video players and editing software such as DaVinci Resolve. Really freaking awesome. Um, so what I did was I took StreamerBot, I made a few just default markers that I'm gonna export for y'all. Um, you can obviously edit these however you see fit. Uh, boss fights, wins, loss, death, kills, things of that nature. Um, once you import the file, all you're going to have to do is go in and change on each of the actions the right to file, the file path that you are going to be saving your text file at. Essentially what this does is push a button on the stream deck. I mean, as you'll see here, I've actually mapped out the different highlight keys on my stream deck with a start and stop record button for this video. And what it'll do is once you start recording, it'll timestamp, play the game that you're playing, yada yada and then anytime you hit a highlight button it's obviously going to insert that chapter marker into your mp4 file that's being recorded via obs but it'll also write it to a log file that way if you're doing a really long stream or you've got a lot of events you got a quick little reference as to where everything was saved at what time point um, so before we get into that we got to switch over to obs that way i can show you there are a couple things you need to set up in obs here um, Going down to the settings tab, which my body is currently covering, but you can figure out where that is. Then we're going to come over here and click on output. Once we're in output, we need to click recording. This is very important. The recording path is wherever you want to find it. Recording format must be in hybrid MP4. I repeat, it must be in hybrid MP4 for this to work. Um, as far as video encoder, I tested it with all the encoders um, and it seemed to work just fine with the different encoders on my specific system. And anything else that down here that you'd like to change via um, just a certain audio track, all the audio tracks, yada yada. And I use constant bitrate with 6000. It does make for a larger file size, uh, but it's nice, clean quality. So that's it. Big highlight here is ensuring that on the recording tab, in the recording format, you have hybrid MP4 beta. That's a necessity, or this is not going to work. Then press apply, press OK. Uh, I'm going to pull up Rotato here just for testing purposes. On my stream deck, I'm gonna go ahead and click start recording and then drop markers for each of the events that I had previously mentioned. And then I'm gonna subsequently stop recording. Once we pull open the log file, you'll see start recording, the game we were playing. That's obviously dependent on what your Twitch title is set as through StreamerBot or through Twitch itself. So you need to have your game set to whatever you wanna record. If I was set to Fortnite but playing Brotato, it's going to say Fortnite in this box. Um, then it'll have a start. All of the events come through with uh, timestamps that are relative to the length of the recording. So this is a nine second recording. Two seconds in is this one. Two seconds in, three seconds in, four seconds in, subsequent. Then it stopped. Then we started another recording. At this time, you'll see the timestamps again, as long as it, as well as a total time at the end. Pretty cool. Log file, so that's a quick reference. We're going to put that off to the side for now because we want to check and make sure that we have a video file. So here's our video file down at the bottom. You can see the little markers. Zoom in, there's a kill, a loss. And the video is so short, I'm going to have to restart it. But here we go. There's a loss, there's a highlight, there's a death, there's a boss fight. So cool. Now we know the chapters slash markers are embedded in the video file. Let's take it a step further because it said it should work in DaVinci Resolve. Let's test that out. 
pulling up DaVinci Resolve, I'm going to drag my game over to the media pool. Once I get up to the media pool, I can already see on the screen there's little chapter markers, but I'll drag it down to the timeline. And now we can look at the timeline if I hover over one of these. Round win. Loss. Kill. Kill is at 0, 2 seconds. So just for reference sake, let's pull up our text file. And for the second recording here, kill, 0, 2 seconds. Uh, I'm looking for my death. That was at 4 seconds. So 4 seconds I had a death. Go down to my marker here. 4 seconds. No, a little bit further yet. There's my death. 4 seconds. So as you can see, this is wicked awesome tool. Um, it is still in beta, so keep that in mind. Your OBS needs to be upgraded to a beta. I would recommend backing up everything you're doing in your current stable OBS and or having a separate copy of OBS for playing around with, which is what I'm currently doing. Um, otherwise, if you have any questions, feel free to snag the import. Um, show me some of the cool stuff you're doing with it. And until next time, we'll catch you later, you f***ing maniacs.